Hey out there YouTube, Matt here from ePipe Mods. We got a lot of cool stuff coming out this month. We got the V3 pipes with the user replaceable vape safe. We got the uh, steam sauce, which is our new line of liquid for the store. We'll also have that liquid online. A lot of nice flavors there. Uh, and the US box. In this video, I want to talk about the US box. Um, it's a pretty cool unit. We had an earlier version. Uh, there have been several versions leading up to this one. So this is the version GKW version God knows what um, and there are two different uh, types of US box there's the variable voltage variable wattage and then there's the straight battery power uh, we'll talk about the similarities between the two first and then I'll get into the individual characteristics of each one after that uh, they both have USB charging on the side you plug up a USB micro cable um, into it and then into a USB outlet uh, there's a little charging indicator in the hole in the front uh, so you can see that it's charging um, they both come in all kinds of exotic woods I've got some zebra wood here and I'm not really sure what this wood is but it's really cool it's got some nice translucence in it um, got purple heart that's a really nice one so a duck Lace wood. Lace wood's really, really nice. And again, another mystery wood. The other thing is the covers. Uh, you can customize your cover, pick which one you want for the wood type on the site. That is like a tortoise shell cover. I can get the glare off of it. You can kind of see the tortoise shell pattern. And we have a pearl. Purple Heart, and then we have the US box engraved on black, the US box engraved on mint, it's got a nice uh, classy look to it, and the US box engraved on white. So the standard voltage that uh, it's just the battery power uh, the only difference on this one that's not like the other one is the charging circuit the charger board on this one goes from uh, red while it's charging to green when it's fully charged um, and it's just straight battery power you get a 2600 milliamp hour battery in there and uh, should last you all day. You plug it up night, at night with your cell phone, you should get at least a day out of this. Now the variable voltage, variable wattage, um, again, same battery, 2600 uh, milliamp battery, should last you all day. Uh, the charging circuit's a little bit different on this one. You go from solid green while it's charging to flashing green when it's charged. If the charger that you're using is not doesn't deliver enough power to charge it um, it still will charge it'll just take longer uh, by the way these take about four hours maybe six hours to charge they charge up pretty fast for being a 2600 milliamp battery um, but if it's not if the whatever you have it plugged into is not delivering enough power it might flash slowly like every three seconds or so it is charging it's just taking longer once it starts flashing every second you know it's fully charged but plug it up overnight and you're good to go. So the functionality of the variable voltage, variable wattage uh, US box is uh, all based on the crown technology. So it's all through one switch. There is no uh, LED display or anything. It's all uh, through uh, an audible speaker. The US box also comes with an Ego adapter. This is an adjustable center pin Ego adapter. So uh, anything with an Ego skirt you can screw on there. Um, or if you want to mount things flush, you can take the Ego adapter off and mount your uh, atomizers or tanks flush. To the box. I also wanted to show for size comparison here is the uh, Anakin MVP next to the US box. They're roughly the same height and the US box is just slightly wider than the MVP. 
So now I'm going to go over how to activate the menu functions uh, when you get your US box. When you get it, it's going to be out of menu mode and it'll be set at 7 watts. In order to enter menu mode, it's four clicks and hold. That's the tone that lets you know that you're in the menu mode. Now you'll hear a chirp every time you press the button. So, um, if you're in the menu mode, it's going to chirp like that. If you're not in the menu mode, it won't chirp. So in order to go up a watt, you press the button and hold. One, hold. You're up a watt. To go down a watt, two presses and hold. One, two, hold. To check your wattage, it's three presses and hold. One, two, three, hold. Count the number of beeps and you've got eight watts. Um, to check your ohms, it's five clicks and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. So the low tone is the first digit. Uh, the high tones are the second digit after the decimal. So that's 1.8 ohm coil. Uh, in order to change from watts to volts, it's six clicks and hold. Now you're in voltage. Uh, to go up 0.2 volts, it goes up and down in 0.2 volt increments. So up 0.2 volts is one click and hold. Down 2 volts, or 0.2 volts is two clicks and hold. And to check your voltage is three clicks and hold. So we're set at 4.3 volts. Uh, after it starts making the tones, you don't have to keep holding down the button, you can release the button. Um, once you get it set where you want it, I generally keep mine at 7 watts. Uh, some of you prefer 8 or 9 watts. Um, you can exit the menu. It's 4 clicks and hold. And now you don't hear the chirp and you're not going to activate any menu functions while you're just vaping just by pressing the button. So that's it. It's uh, fairly simple, kind of like the uh, ProVary in that uh, it has a one button uh, activation menu. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's not bad. Once you get it set where you want it, you leave it there anyway. Um, so go over to ePipe Mods, check them out, US box, um, lots of different wood types, customizable covers, the um, non-variable voltage variable wattage model is 125 and the variable voltage variable wattage model is uh, 150. So check them out, ePipeMods.com. Thanks for watching.